pulls people together, individuals, and creates one nation? How do you take people from all sorts of styles of living and homes and families in their own unique ways and bring them together? Well, Moshe Beno tells the Jewish people that as they come into Israel, a centralized place of service, of worship, of gathering of the nation is going to be in the Mikdash, in the temple, or in those days, the tabernacle. The tabernacle, the Mikdash, will serve as a centralized home for the nation. We know that the Jewish people took the tabernacle, the Mishkan, from the desert into Israel and established it there. That then transformed into a temple, a more permanent home, led by King David and King Solomon, with the first temple and thereafter the second temple. Once again, that centralized place of service, of worship, of gathering the nation together. Today, we no longer have a tabernacle, nor do we have a temple. So what do we have? What's going to bring our people together as a unified body, as a unified nation? The answer is our shuls. The temple says that our shul is called the Mikdash Ma'at. It's a small temple because it serves a similar purpose of gathering in the community into one centralized home, a place of service, of worship of God. But it doesn't only serve as a place of worship. It's also a social gathering place for the community to meet one another. It also enables us to nurture and educate our community in important values and morals of our belief system. For example, charity is discussed in the shul. Education, nurturing our young and bringing them up with our Torah values, taking care of the elderly. So many of our value system is discussed within our shuls. This is the spot. Our shul is a place which gathers in the people, nurtures the people. It is the Mikdash, Ma'at, the small temple. And so Moshe Abeno's instruction in the parasha this week to establish a Mikdash plays out for us too, to make sure that the shul is our home, our spiritual home, our social home, our educational home that nurtures us and our families together. Shabbat Shalom.